Hey, I'm Sabrina, and volleyball has played a significant role in my life for the past eight years. Over this time, the sport has greatly affected me with regards to the mental side of things. Now, in what could be my final year of playing, my curiosity led me to dive deeper and learn just how volleyball and the brain connect. From hours of research, coaching, refereeing, interviewing, and of course playing, I've obtained a greater understanding of just how the two link. Let's take a closer look. Volleyball is a game of mistakes. From observing other individuals and playing myself, I know that this can put a substantial amount of pressure on the athlete. Depending on how you take it, this can either make the athlete more nervous or more motivated to compete. These two mindsets carry into how mentality affects play. If an athlete is nervous, it can alert the rest of the brain that a threat is present and trigger a fear or anxiety response. Their fight or flight response is triggered and their system is flooded with norepinephrine and cortisol. This takes away your focus from the game, tensing your body up and hindering your performance of play. On the other hand, the pressure of volleyball can result in more motivation. Motivation happens when the athlete's dopamine spikes, giving them more energy and allowing them to focus on the game. This of course boosts the athlete's performance. To further express how volleyball affects an athlete's mental health, I created eight interview questions for my current and former teammates to answer. Here's how it went. Yes. 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 I think mental toughness can make a difference in certain situations. Yes. Because I've seen it happen on both ends with my team. Yeah. A hundred percent. I think mental toughness is one of the major factors to winning a game because if you're on the court and you're constantly thinking negatively, then it will affect not just how you play, because when you're bringing yourself down, then you're bringing everyone on the court down and all your teammates down. I do think mental toughness can be a difference between a win or a loss. I believe that mental toughness makes a huge difference between wins and losses. Yes. I think I'm pretty mentally tough. Like, if you're all mentally tough and can push through stuff like that, I think, honestly, there's not, like, a lot of room to, like, lose. Yeah, volleyball has definitely helped me relieve stress in the past. Yes, whenever I have, like, a big test or something, like, it's always so nice going to volleyball and just being able to kind of, like, forget about it for a couple of hours. Volleyball was one of the activities that I leaned towards most, especially when I was going through like a challenging time in my life. And I would just open the gym doors and see like my teammates putting their shoes on and like seeing their faces and instantly just like have a smile on my face. No matter what kind of day I had, like at school or anything, that it always gave me like a sense of relief it gave me escape and helped me become who I really was and just relieve any stress that I had during the day. Yes, volleyball has helped me relieve a lot of stress. Yes, volleyball has helped relieve stress for me. I definitely think that volleyball or any sport is an escape. And I think that when you're on the court, it can totally be like a break from everyday life. Uh, does totally help with pressure, playing with pressure. Um, and I find that I focus 10 times better because the court is like game time, it's go time. Uh, I think volleyball has positively affected my mental health because it is a good stress reliever for me. Like having a busy volleyball schedule has helped me have good time management skills, which when it comes to having busy athletics and a very busy like school workload situation, it has helped me, you know, not get as stressed and suffer from so much anxiety when I have better time management skills. Obviously it still happens, but it has helped with that. Um, it helps me forget about anything that is negative that's going on in my life. Like, like leave it behind when I step on the court is awesome. 
it also kind of taught me not to sweat the small stuff like not to focus on like every little error that i make volleyball has made me more confident say you serve and you ace it and like your team starts like obviously cheering for you that's a confidence booster i perform better under pressure i believe that it like taught me to work under pressure under stress and to like not just focus better but like work better with other people and communicate better with other people it taught me how to learn from my mistakes rather than beating myself up for it and it definitely taught me a lot of leadership skills and how to maintain a positive attitude consistently and to set a good example for the rest of my team it also taught me how to ease down the anxiety i'd get from like the nerves of playing in front of people it helped me to be more disciplined and especially with time management like balancing uh, extracurricular in school it made me more confident and believe in myself. It also made me perform uh, better under pressure. Cause like, if it's your serve and it's the last point, you know that you have to get that in. And it's like similar to like anything you do, like a test or something, you're gonna be under pressure and you're gonna feel like the whole world is on your shoulder. Through training and all the games that we've had over the past years, um, it's taught me to perform really well under pressure and how to stay focused through all that. Volleyball is also like an escape for me when I have a lot of stress or just a lot of things going on in life that um, without that, my mental health would not be as great. It's taught me to take constructive criticism very well and I think that translates to like in school or like in my art, stuff like that. And it's also taught me to deal with some difficult or like selfish people. I'm also able to perform under pressure. It's possibly affected me where I can like, I know like I can work hard for something. Like I know it's gonna be a positive outcome. I've definitely had a lot of words said to me on, on and off the court from coaches, from teammates. Um, I've had a coach tell me, you know, you need to have a body like an asparagus in order to play volleyball and be successful and I definitely made me struggle with body image for a very long time and then I now play college volleyball and uh, my coach had a talk with me saying like, you know, you gotta get it done, like, if you wanna be better, if you wanna be good, like, work on your health, like, nothing about my weight, just work on your health, work on yourself. And then in two semesters less than, I lost 40 pounds. A definitely body ish image issues because there's so many girls that have like perfect bodies and are super skinny and like we're wearing spandex or in beach volleyball wearing bikinis and I've always had a bigger build and I know I'm never gonna be like the super super tiny girl so it's kind of hard to see sometimes it's like oh wow like they have a six pack or whatever um and it's like I have to work really hard to get there but that's like something else but I also think negatively it can be whether it's a toxic team culture or just a coach um, sometimes certain players can make it, it not very enjoyable to want to play or even coaches if it's a not super good coach. It could be not super fun to play and then you get frustrated and just like depressed and you know, you just don't like the sport you used to play. Like the uniforms are revealing, like you're gonna compare yourself to other girls. Like that's just, that's how the teenage mind works and like it does have like a hit on your body image. Like it, it does, it can make you feel bad about yourself but after a little while, like you kind of learn to like not like focus on it. You're doing the same physical activity as all the other girls. Like you're not, if you don't look like that right now, like you're probably not going to, and that's fine. It's also negatively affected my mental health because I've like I've had mean girls on my team. Like volleyball has a lot of mean girls, and I've had to deal with that myself. Um, like low key bullies, um, but that's kind of with any sport. Like that's kind of to be expected. There are just kind of bad people out there it's fully taken my confidence away at times. Like, it's kind of more like within the sport. Like, I'm not super confident when I'm playing, just like in my skills and myself. But I'm the type of player that when I make a mistake, it like weighs me down. Like, it's really hard for me to shake it off. Like, I really look at my mistakes and then I think that that's the reason that we lost. After every single play, when we go in for like the huddle, um, I always pull down my spandex. <laughs> but like I'm scared because like I'm wearing spandex that like somebody's like gonna look at 
like my body. Coaches could negatively affect your mental health, like constantly hearing that you're not good enough or like you're not doing good enough, like just comments like that. In the negative perspective, in the four years of playing high school, volleyball, the majority of it, I was a bench player and I didn't see much of the court. And it bothered me a lot, especially the first year I played volleyball in high school. And it made me think that like, oh, I wasn't good enough. Like, why am I even on the team? And I took it so close to heart that I'd cry after every single game. And I beat myself down for it so much that I was so close to not playing my senior year. And when it comes to body image issues, that was definitely one of my major struggles while playing volleyball. And just the fact that we always had to like wear spandex and like skin tight clothing. I had to learn to love how I look because I had to wear those type of clothing and be comfortable in it at the same time. I have been dealing with body image struggles my whole life. I used to not wear spandex in volleyball. And when they told me that spandex was a part of the uniform, I was so close to quitting because that's how uncomfortable I was. All I would think about was how people were looking at me and what they were thinking, especially. And I always thought that other people were comparing me to other volleyball players, but in reality, I was the only one comparing myself to other people. At times, make me more stressed if I'm losing sleep because of morning practice and trying to fit in my schoolwork and other extracurriculars. When you don't like make a team or let's say you're like benched for a game or something, it really affects your mental health because it makes you believe whether or not you're good enough. You know, if I didn't make a team or something, I would be devastated and I would question whether or not I should be playing volleyball or not. Volleyball can negatively affect mental health when you start comparing yourself to others, when you start comparing your skills to other people, your looks to other people, and even your friend groups. Volleyball has maybe had some trust issues because some coaches in the past have told me um, like what they thought I wanted to hear and then it goes and then obviously it doesn't work out because they like are lying and I thought like I wasn't good enough. It also negatively affected my mental health in like because it takes up a lot of your time and like I fell behind my schoolwork. Having to drive to volleyball, practice, drive back home takes about like eight to nine hours of my week. You fall into kind of like a spiral kind of thing. It didn't do me very well. <laughs> I've, um, I mean, my teammates, some of them are like my forever friends. I talk to teammates that I've had three years ago and teammates that I've had this year every single day. Um, I think my teammates know me better than some of my friends, which is crazy to think about. And some of my teammates are my best friends. Coaches, I've had some great coaches. I've had bad coaches. I've had great teammates. I've had bad teammates. But the moment that you're on the court is the moment when it's volleyball you know you can't keep any personal issues that you have with your teammate or your coach and bring it onto the court because then that's the moment that you're not successful in the game i've built some of my strongest relationships i've ever had through volleyball i've had like made some of my best friends I'll, like i'll ever have in my life relationships with coaches like other people from like all over canada and the u.s um with coaches i've I definitely have like a lot more like mentors and like people that I can go to and that I can kind of get life advice from and learn from. And like, I've even had like one of my coaches like offer me a coaching job with like the oval and stuff, you know, like they're always like giving you other opportunities, which I think is awesome even when you're not playing with them. I met my best friend through volleyball. I've met so many people that I know that I'm gonna like still be connected with for like the rest of my life. Um, which is really good because volleyball is such a team-based sport. So you learn to get really close with your teammates really fast, which is good. My first year playing volleyball was in grade seven and I met somebody named Danica and we've been playing ever since together. And it's really hard to play with somebody on the exact same club team for six years. 
that I'm really happy that I have because without volleyball, we never would have met. And now she's one of my closest friends. So I'm really thankful for that. And volleyball coaches, it's like almost like a second, like a parent. Like you look up to them, like your coaches especially. And like you feel like you could tell them anything, which is really cool. I have built many relationships through volleyball. Um, best friends, close friends, just teammates in general, and many good relationships with coaches. Um, I still go for coffee with my coaches. But thanks to volleyball, I built so many friendships and it has definitely strengthened my friendship with my best friend too. And the best memories I've ever had in my life was because of volleyball and I've met so many people that weren't just my teammates, but other people on other teams as well. Um, I've made some really good relationships with past teammates, even ones that I don't even play with anymore. I think because of volleyball, we've made really good friendships. Probably some of the best relationships that I'll ever build in my life. The relationship, I've met some of my best friends from playing volleyball and it's just really helped me grow into the person that I am today. The coaches and like all the assistants in training, they've really helped me like like not be afraid to like raise my voice and share like who I really am on the court. And it just gave me a sense of belonging and like, oh, no matter what, I could always turn to my team and my coaches and they would help. I built a lot of relationships through volleyball. Um, and I would say that most of my closest friends are through volleyball. With all like the hours that we spend together through practices and games and traveling for tournaments, it makes you really close with your friends and your coaches. I've only ever really built one best friend type strong relationship throughout my whole club volleyball and also school volleyball career. A lot of teams I've been on, I've had really good friends and some people I don't talk to a lot, but still am kind of uh, close friends with. Some teams I've been on, I've been in situations where it's pretty like clicky. I've built a strong relationship with two out of six coaches that I've had so that kind of is saying something like and one of those was the only female coach I've had so uh, put in work and you will get the reward you know if you want to get a higher vertical put in the work in the gym do things to make your vertical higher and you will see the reward you know it just depends on how bad you want it um. It doesn't matter if you win or lose the game or you score the winning point or miss the winning point. At the end of the day, 10 years down the road, your teammates will remember you for your character and how you were as an overall athlete. Not for your skill, but how you treated others with respect, your sportsmanship, your positivity, stuff like that. Whenever you make a mistake and you go into the circle in a game, you're allowed to have a one second pity party and you correct what you did wrong out loud and then you pump someone else's tires. And I've done that every single time that I've made an error for the rest of my volleyball career. And it has helped me so much like move on and stay positive throughout the game which helps with my mental game as well if you don't go you won't know so that's like saying if you don't dive for that like ball you're not gonna know if you could get it up life is not fair from jordan teese it will always stick with me forever that everyone on the team plays a role uh in my senior year i didn't get as much playing time which was fine and I didn't want to spend my last year moping around so I made it my goal to be the best example for the rest of the girls who were also bench players and especially for the grade 11s because I knew how hard it was and I knew once like the starting six would go on the court the rest of us would just like turn back go back to the bench and like all their heads would always be down and I felt like it was my job to make them smile and remind them that we have to stay positive not just for us but for like the people on the court because our energy and attitude kind of like bounce back with each other and yeah if the people on the court are down then like it's like our job to help bring them back up and stay positive and you know like cheer them on and when the starting six would go on the court before the game, like they would like huddle in a circle. And I thought, okay, if they huddle in a circle, then why don't like the bench people huddle in a circle too? So I'd make everyone huddle in a circle and like I'd give them like a small pep talk. So 
we continue doing that for the rest of the season. That your teammates are your family. And I think that's helped me because even if I'm disagreeing with a certain player, it helps me to remember that we're a family when it comes to volleyball, especially on the court. Do it for your team. And that's really stuck with me because no matter what situation I am in life, I need to remember to think of others and like be like, oh, it's not, I'm not only doing this for myself, but I have like, a, like 12 other girls that I'm doing this for. A few coaches that I've had have praised the saying, we before me. Um, pretty easy. My college, I get a scholarship to play volleyball in Fort McMurray, Alberta. And I definitely think that that was totally life-changing and it's affected me because I've matured, I've learned so much, I've learned how to be independent, I've learned how to be a team player and it has set me up for the rest of my life. I definitely think if I wasn't playing volleyball, I would be playing a different sport. Um, I also think I would have, you know, made a lot of different connections. I wouldn't have some of the friends I have today. So I definitely think volleyball, like I wouldn't have as many opportunities or different opportunities that I've had, like visiting universities, doing all this like elite training, traveling. It's been a blessing to have all that and to play at such a high level. I wouldn't have met so many of the people that I met because the clubs that I played at are in my hometown. Like I live in Tawasson and I'm playing, I played volleyball in Coquitlam. So being able to meet such like a wide group of people, I think that I would just be really sad because my whole life surrounds volleyball so yeah but i love it i don't think i'd be the person that i am today truly volleyball has made me confident it's given me leadership skills memories that i'll never forget that i'm gonna like cherish forever from practices to games to tournaments to away tournaments on like ferries giving me friends that'll last like forever friends that i could trust it's made me who i am and I'm really grateful. I honestly could not imagine my life if I didn't play volleyball. Like when I quit this year, it was really hard for me because like volleyball like was me, like it's what defined me, like, oh Maya, the volleyball player. So it's pretty much given me an image, like a place to like forget everything else that's happening. So like if I'm angry, upset or anything, go to volleyball, you forget it, you take it out on the ball. If I did not play volleyball, I 100% know that I wouldn't be as confident and as going and I learned so many new skills and lessons that have helped me throughout my life that I wouldn't have learned about if it weren't for volleyball and if it weren't for volleyball I would still like be that shy kid that hides from everything and anyone. I think my life would be really different if I didn't play volleyball because I wouldn't have met a lot of the people that I hang out with today. Without volleyball, I feel like I would still be very shy and like not really like voice my opinion about everything. I would still always be like in the background because volleyball, it gave me like a sense of belonging. It gave me like the feeling that I would always be safe when I was in the gym with my teammates because they accepted me for who I was. And through volleyball, I think that I've made more relationships that I have with anything. I met my best friends there and I met so many role models that I have in my life and I learned so many lessons because of these people and without volleyball I feel like I wouldn't have the relationship that I have with them now. One of the most important things to me about volleyball was the memories that I made. It was the best time of my life. Going to Catholics, going to provincials, without it, I don't know who I would be, honestly. Going into the gym and like seeing those girls and like practicing every day, it was like a second home to me and like a family because I always just felt like my truest self because of them. And it just honestly gave me an identity and without it, I think I would be a very a different person. After interviewing these athletes, I can confidently say that there is an evident connection between volleyball and the brain. Each of them have expressed that volleyball significantly impacts their mental health and life as a whole in a way that no other sport does. I can certainly testify to that. I hope this video inspired you in one way or another, and you now realize that volleyball is much more than just a sport. Thank you.